boating has been a part of culture for over you know 40,000 years. In the artwork, it represents the connection, the ongoing connection. The mountains in there represents uh, the Torres Strait Islands up top, top of Australia. And then as you come down, you've got uh, the red, the blue and the yellow represents the mainland of Australia. So you've got the yellow represents the sand, the blue with the fish in it represents the fresh water. Your orange represents inland country, like red dirt country, um, central to central. Wherever you'll see water, you'll see the brolga. So that's why he's in there, again, connected to the water. The durry is a, a huge symbol for Torres Strait Islander culture. Um, so we decided to have that along the top as being part of sort of the wind. The headdress is used for dancing, but the the middle of the um, durry has a star. So the star was used for um, navigation purposes up in the Torres Strait so, and, and everywhere, not just the Torres Strait. Um, and the crossing of the lines were just to represent the different ways the wind blows, so just the directional um, wind patterns. And so the patterns that you see throughout the, the piece, um, uh, patterns you see in nature, um, whether it's uh, the land, the sea or the air. So um, the lines in the, the sun are just uh, representations of um, patterns you see sometimes in nature. You know, when you look at the sun, uh, you know, there's different patterns you'll see at different times of day. So the sea eagle, um, yeah, lives and, and hunts along the, um, along the beach uh, in the coastal areas. He's in there as another representation of, um, of uh, animal uh, that lives on the coast of Australia. This is sort of the, the, um, to represent the currents um, under the, on, obviously under the water. So you have some of them going this way pointing this way and then you have some of them coming back so that was just about the different currents and um, rips in the water Warwick decided to put the turtles in there as well because they obviously follow the currents of the water and we both wanted to have um, not just one culture uh, shown in the um, in the other pictures you can just see faintly. It's not as clear and it's not in colour as the other boats. So the ones that you'll see, yeah, it just sort of reflects our ancestors from before. That's why it's not in colour because it's sort of representation of the past, not not the present. But we wanted to have them in there as well to show that, that it's, you know, there's been a progression in time. It's actually um, in the background uh, with the pattern. Um to show the uh, the continuation of um, the connection with uh, with the sea uh, for the Torres Strait and Aboriginal culture, so uh, there's two uh, canoes in there with um, the Torres Strait and Aboriginal hunters in there. So that 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 was put in there to uh, to um, sort of see well that's the past and you know that's what we used to do uh, hundreds of thousands of years ago with um, that style of, um, of boat, canoe. And then, as you can see, on top you've got the new boats um, and uh, your life jackets and that, you know, uh, to, to connect in that way um, through our patterns and our old lifestyle. And the trawler, the trawler's put there uh, because Australia's waters are used a lot for their commercial use as well, so... Uh, seeing a trawl is um, just about as common as seeing someone in a tinny fishing. We highlighted uh, that, uh, you know, recreational fishing and um, what you'd call modern day hunting. Uh, it's a big part of Australian lives no matter what background you come from. Uh, and in there you'll see that uh, they've got um, life jackets on to show um, safety on the water because... Um, it's very important in Australian waters. Uh, and then also with the, the red buoy there, that uh, comes back to safety and knowing your um, boating rules 
uh, and that that common theme of um, safety on the water. We don't have to fish any more out of necessity. It used to be, you know, if you didn't go out and and go fishing that day, that you weren't eating that night. <laughs> So now it's it's more of a pastime rather than a necessity. So starting young and passing down the safety aspect of fishing too. It's not just about having fun that you have to stay safe. So yeah, the life life jackets is not something that um, a lot of people like to use, um, even though that it's probably will save your life <laughs> if you need it. Um, so yeah, so so talking about life jackets as a beginning of safety um, with the young kids and and teaching them that it's um, it is something that they have to do when they go out on the boats. There's uh, three types of fishing there. So you've got the the front boat with um, uh, the father and son combination. There they're actually um, casting a net and pulling in the fish. Uh, and then the second tinny, they're obviously fishing uh, with the rods and that. And then you've got the, the trawler, which is our commercial fishing. Uh, the turtle used to be a main source of food for the Torres Strait and Aboriginal people. Not just one family gets to share the, the turtle. It's, it's a communal thing. And um, yeah, it's, it's a bit of, bit of a delicacy today for our people, which is used uh, for... Uh, celebrations and ceremonies but uh, back in tribal times it was a, a stable food that's why it's represented both in the background pattern and in the foreground the triangles down here uh, represents the waves represent the the different patterns you see um, out in nature also um, if we look at the the sand the pattern through there you know is, is patterns you can see in the sand as well um, going over to the the uh, orange um, the red dirt and then the patterns through the mountains um, all all the patterns that you can see uh, in everyday life in nature it can be like you're looking at it from an aerial view or it can be that you're looking at it from front on so that's just the way that it's been designed sacred seas is um you know the sea is sacred to to our people. We live on it. We um, we eat off it, and um, we do our recreation with it as well. Uh, so sacred seas, you know, uh, as custodians of the land, uh, needs to be looked after, um, as we have done it for thousands of years, and um, that doesn't stop in today's society. We still need to look after the sea, because. Um, it's not just sacred to us anymore, it's sacred to everyone that lives on the coast or lives near water. Mm -hmm.